Hi, I'm Chuck Dorset for Weaver Leathercraft, and this is the Leather Element. If you've got a good question for us, or a good idea for a leather element, drop it in the comment box below. Now, we're going to line some leather. For those of us who are new, you won't believe the possibilities here. Design possibilities, literally unlimited. But at the same time, it's going to cure a couple of problems. Now, for those of us who are a little more seasoned, we may not work over here, because it seems like a challenge. It's not. This is a breeze, and again, it will do so much for us. All right, so let's start here. We're going to go with the four ways lining leather is going to help us out. Let's start right here. The first thing lining is going to do for us is purely aesthetic. Now, we've all seen the higher end projects or products where we've got a liner on the inside. So therefore, typically, we have top grain out. But also, we can add color, we can contrast, or match the outside of our pouch, right? Okay, all right, rolling. Right here, we've got a piece of our Lexi leather. I'm going to glue a piece of liner onto this. But with this, I've got some good body here. It's good weight. So therefore, I don't want to add a lot of weight to this. Well, easy enough. We're going to add this liner, but let's do this. Let's jump over to our main table. Let's look at some options. There are so many ways we can go with all kinds of great leathers. Right off the bat, suede. Always a great liner for a number of reasons. But this is going to add a little bit of weight. So I've got a 3 to 4 ounce here and a 3 to 4 ounce here. That's going to be a heavy piece of leather. Okay, Let's jump over here. This is our pig skin, and I love it. Very affordable. It's about a 1 to 2 ounce. So it's really not going to add any weight. Nah, maybe a little bit, but it's a 1 to 2 ounce, 3 to 4 ounce, so we're still around a 4 to 5. Gorgeous colors. In fact, I keep a lot of this in my shop simply because it makes such a great liner. But let's do this. Let's look at this black. Beautiful texture, nice grain. If we lay that in, that's going to be striking. Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to cut off a piece. Let's glue it on. To save us a little time, I've trimmed our pattern a little bit closer to our final size. But you'll notice, I've left leather all the way around. I haven't trimmed this down yet. What we're going to do is glue these, piece, these two pieces together. Then we're going to cut. It's going to look like it was die cut. Super easy, very clean. Now, for our glue, S18 or the barge. Love both, but we're going to need a little ventilation here. Now, if we're doing a larger piece, we're just going to use the cap, the brush on the cap for this. But if we've got a larger piece, jump over to a paint tray and a roller. No kidding. You can cover about six square feet of leather in about three minutes. Okay? So with this, let's start right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop in glue, and I'm going to glue right to the edge, all the way around, and all the way across. Now, to make sure we've got full coverage, what I can do is I can lay my project over the edge of my table. That way I can run my glue right off the edge, or my brush right off the edge. Therefore, we're not going to have any misses or any air pockets. Okay, that looks good. So I'm going to do the same thing right here. I'm going to go with my flesh side, glue on my flesh side. And our last couple of pieces. Also, running this off the edge of our table, that keeps us from getting glue on our table. Now, with this, not so much a problem, but if we have some glue on our table and run a veg tan across that, it's never going to take dye. It's going to look awful. Okay, so let's give these two pieces about five minutes. Let these dry. Okay, good dry time. Looks dry. Feels good and tacky. That's what we want. So for me, typically, I'll leave my more supple piece on my table. Yeah, black leather, again, might not have been the best idea. But let's lay the more supple piece down. And let's drop this in roughly to our edges. There we go. So therefore, I know I've got ample leather all the way around. Now, we can always use a roller on this, but for a smaller piece like this, it's no issue. But by adding the glue all the way around, I'm not going to worry about this rippling. So let's take this with a straight edge. Let's cut to size. Okay, let's trim our end there. Okay, look at that liner. That's beautiful. And like I said, look at our edge. That looks like it was die cut. So really all told, adding a liner, super easy to do. Okay, let's look at three more ways a liner. It's going to take our projects to a whole new level. 
This is the one place in the shop that lining leather is going to be the biggest help, and it's going to be the biggest help across the widest variety of projects. Here's why, and we're going to use this as an example. This is our Telfair Pebble Grain. Love it. It is a beautiful leather, five to six ounce, but it's very supple. I want to make a briefcase out of this. Well, that's just not going to do it. Well, I will, but it'll be very flimsy. So let's do this. Let's drop in a veg tan liner on the back of our Telfair. Now I've got ample body. That's going to be a sturdy, durable briefcase. But beyond that, there's my strap. I've dropped in my veg behind that. So now my strap as well has a nice feel to it. But also, cool point, no rub off issues with that. Same thing over here. Let's pull this aside. Say we find this beautiful chrome and we want to make maybe a holster or a purse or bag out of it, but it's just too, too flimsy, too thin. Again, we can drop in all manner of possibilities behind that. We can bump that up. Say we're doing a, a holster. Well, now I've got my chrome on my outside and on the inside, I've got my veg tan. So I've got no issues with the metal. Okay, let's look at one small help. Then we're going to jump over to the coolest thing we can do with a liner. To me, suede is one of the best liners. First off, inexpensive. But secondly, yeah, the colors. We've got 21 of the prettiest colors I've ever seen in leather. But again, inexpensive. Now, here's a cool point. Love the colors, so therefore, that would make a gorgeous belt. But it's just too thin. So how about we just line suede with suede. Now we've got a supple belt. It's got some good weight to it, a little bit of body. But think of that in matching or contrasting colors for a belt. That would be beautiful. Now, the primary reason here is because suede doesn't slip. In fact, good example, this is used a lot on saddle seats for that exact reason. It's got some grip to it. So if I flip this mouse pad over, yeah, I've got a little hook so I can hang it on the wall of my shop, but that's never going to work. But with the suede, I don't even have to press down and that's going to stick tight. So think of maybe um, shoulder pads on shoulder straps or maybe a rifle sling, something that we don't want to slip, give it some good grip, but also colors. How cool is that? In fact, that purple, we're going to go to that next because now we're going to jump over to one of my favorite ways to use a liner. This is the one place a liner literally can give us unlimited design possibilities. Okay, we're going to talk about a filigree cut. Filigree simply means delicate work. So let's do this. Let's take our beautiful facial leather. We're going to add a liner. But before we do that, let's cut through that facial leather. So now we have a liner and that becomes part of our overall design. Again, unlimited possibilities here. I'm going to do my best not to wander off in the woods and not come back. But at the same time, looks like somebody needs some new samples and I'll get on to that. But right here, this is a rapier carrier. So if you think of maybe the, the three musketeers, it's a sword carrier from that era. So what I've done here is I've hand tooled four to five ounce facial. I've cut out my backgrounded areas and I've dropped in that beautiful purple behind that. Is that not striking? Okay, one more step on this. Because this is a costume piece, I don't want to worry about this suede rubbing off on an expensive piece of costume. So what I've done is I've dropped in a piece of black veg behind that. No worries, no issues. And look at that. Is that not beautiful? All right, one more piece, promise. We're going to stop there. This is from the suit of armor over in the corner. Same thing. So I've tooled my face, dropped in my suede. But then behind that, I've dropped in a piece of bake hardened 12 to 13 ounce veg tan. So that's a three ply. But with this, that is one solid piece of leather. And is that not just beautiful? Adding a liner is easy. Solves all kinds of problems, and on the design side, sky, hate to say it again, sky literally is the limit. So I hope this gets those creative gears going, and I hope every project you line is beautiful. Thanks for taking time to watch The Leather Element. Good luck with your projects.